All right, YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favorite YouTuber and vlogger. Right, in this video, what I'm going to do is to prove once again, categorically, that there is absolutely no difference between shooting 8-bit and 10-bit and then uploading to an 8-bit platform such as YouTube with your standard dynamic range recordings. Now, for anybody who is not familiar with my stuff this video is going to be quite wordy i'll probably also piss some people off in the process but i will guarantee you if you watch this video in its entirety you will definitely learn something and the least of what you will learn here is the fact that the vast majority of youtubers talk shit and don't know what they're talking about they haven't got enough technical understanding about all this great stuff it is that they do and the main reason why i'm going to be doing this video is because we are about to get another 10 bit camera and it's just better because it's 10 bit which i've already heard today by that stupid prick david manning i swear to god why does youtube even allow idiots like that on the platform just to keep proliferating bullshit and stupidity it's beyond me anyways 8-bit and 10-bit don't make no difference now what i'm going to do is play you something right now one side is 8-bit the other side is 10-bit Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to zoom into the shot and kind of focus more on the moon. Now, the thing is here, this is going to be a very excessive zoom in. So what's going to happen here is that we are now going to go right down to where like the pixel level is going to start interfering with the likes of the encoding and stuff like that. So what we're going to see here is absolute and utter garbage. But what it is, that garbage will apply to both sides, the 8-bit and the 10-bit solo. Let me just show you this. Okay, so with those two examples there, I can absolutely guarantee you that nobody out there will be able to tell which side was 8-bit and which side was 10-bit. So what I'm going to do now is go into the actual editing system, and I will show you in a bit more detail now as to exactly what's gone on here. So we can see like the raw footage, and I can prove to you that one side was definitely 8-bit and the other side was definitely 10-bit, blah, 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 and all that nonsense. Okay, so here I am in DaVinci Resolve. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to show you some settings. And that's just to show you that there is absolutely no shenanigans going on. So no trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes and stuff like that. And also, it will show you that I do know what I'm talking about. And I do know how to use this stuff properly for anybody else who uses these things. Anywho, so if I come up to, let's see, playback here. As you can see, it says here, use optimized media if available well that's switched off so there's absolutely no way that i'm using 8-bit optimized media so proxy handling disable all proxies timeline proxy resolution so we're on full in the timeline anyway so that doesn't come into play render caching there is none and there's absolutely no caching or pre-caching of anything available to the timeline which could get mixed up with any kind of generated proxies which could be 8-bit anyway let's have a quick look in preferences up here and I will go to user and playback. As we will see here, everything is disabled. So by disabled, what this means is we are disabling the optimized sizing. We're also disabling optimized decode quality, and we are also disabling optimized image processing. So basically, absolutely everything is disabled. So what we're seeing in the timeline is absolutely what we should be seeing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now now it's just run through the clips so the top clip here it says 10 bit in the timeline but don't just take my word for it let's see what resolve says so in the inspector here on resolve this is telling us that this is h.265 main 10 level 6 or level 6.0 when it says main 10 that means it is 10 bit okay 
Now, if we come down to the, the clip underneath or the bottom track, it says 8-bit. But once again, let's just not take my naming as being the truth here. The truth is, Resolve is telling us that this is H.265 main level 6.0. And that main level 6.0 means that it is 8-bit. Now, with the bottom track selected there, if I, if I hide the track or mute it, as we will see, 10 bit is on the left there. And then if I unmute the bottom track, the bottom track is on the right. Now also, if I just go full screen here a sec, I'll play this through again so you can have a look. But you can definitely know that this is a split screen because there's people in the middle here. Now what happens is at some point towards the end of the clip playing, they vanish. And the reason why they vanish is because they've cut, they've, well, they've kind of stepped over into the split here. So they vanish in the middle of the screen. So you definitely know what's going on. Give us a second. Let me just make sure that's queued up. Yeah, there we go. So let me just play this through for you again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just play through that zoomed in split screen as well here. And just quickly, as we can see, the top track selected. And as we can see, main 10. Bottom track there is just main, so that's the 8-bit. And if I just mute the bottom track, we've got the 10-bit on the left-hand side. And we've got the 8-bit on the right-hand side. So let me just go full screen and play that for you. Okay, so as you can clearly see there, absolutely no shenanigans going on and no difference. In fact, let me just go a little bit closer into this one because there are some differences quite clearly here. Hold on. Let me just frame advance in here. I'm sure there's a beard that appears somewhere here. And what happens is the beard's only on one, there we go. So there's a beard there on one side. Now watch this as it tracks backwards through the frame and then boom, it disappears there because obviously it's two completely different takes and the beard is in one take, which is the 10-bit take and it's not in the other take, which is the 8-bit take. Anyways, what I'm now going to do is do some pretty stupid um, like, you know, colour stuff here. And that's just so we can see, you know, what gives as far as colour stuff is concerned. So let me just grab these two clips here. So what I'm going to do, let me just duplicate those clips there. And then what I'll do, let me just make them a compound clip. So what I'm doing here is basically just giving myself the convenience of one clip to be the two clips. I could do this with an adjustment layer and stuff, but I just find it easier to do it this way. So as we can see, this is definitely the two clips just turned into a compound clip because if I get up to here, as we can see there, the people are vanishing in the middle of the screen again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go over to the color tools and stuff. Now, I am not a colorist or anything like that, and I don't profess to be anybody who does color grade nor anything like that. Unlike a lot of those clowns on YouTube who don't even know what the friggin' hell or LUT is for. Anywho, what I'm going to do here is just go absolutely bananas with what's on the screen here. So let me just throw that up. So there's a load of whatever purple into the screen. Now, I'm just going to go full screen here. In fact, let me just get this back to the start of that clip. So I'll go full screen. Now look at that. I have massively, massively changed the color there. Now let me just play that to you. Okay, and I can guarantee once again that you will have not have seen any difference as that went through there. Now, let me just do some of the mad stuff here. In fact, this, this is good, right? I'm starting to see solarization going on on the screen here, but I can see it on both sides, actually. Now, the thing is, I'll bang that up there and then let me just oh i'll just super i'll just super destroy it with this as well gives a sec right i'm definitely seeing certain oddities now on playback because i'm i'm actually viewing on 10 bit here although both sides are wrecked let me just try a little bit more messing around actually yeah that's oh yeah there we go right now that is absolutely wrecked big time that's now starting to look like a david bowie video now let me just go full screen with this and play this through there you go Again, you know, you tell me, can you see any difference on either side of that split screen there? Because to me, both sides now look complete 
garbage so it's not as if like you know the 10-bit version held up any better now i'm not saying at this point that that's because you know then there's no difference between them but at this point we're also dealing with footage which has come from like you know a camera which really isn't that good a 10-bit camera to start off with not that if you were to use a brilliant 10-bit camera you would see anything different but we're dealing with sensors here on like you know these cameras which really are just not up to the task in the first place anyway and nonetheless let me come down here to this split screen and i'll do the same thing hold on let me just copy that and paste it there and then let me just create a new compound clip with that one okay so we're into our compound clip here and let me just there we go i can just show you again on the compound clip and just going backwards we see that beard in the middle of the screen vanish boom it's gone so there we go there's the proper split in the compound clip so what i'm going to do is come back over here to some of the color stuff um let's see i'll go on to the the hdr wheels here not that they'll make any difference but these will actually push things a bit more into a weird space that we're not actually in at the moment so if anything's going to look crazier this should in fact let me just pull some stuff up from here right so i'm just gonna blast that there let me pull that now this should absolutely just max out a lot of the luminary here as well now in, in fact actually what we should notice here more so more than anything is the limitation within the codec itself not necessarily the bit depth so the codec itself and it's and it's uh, it's bit rate and stuff that will be the first place that we will see things fall apart as opposed to the bit depth anyway let me just go full screen with that one and play that through once again you're not seeing any difference whatsoever there even though that like has been completely blasted now let me just do some of the crazy things here with this one um, yeah, we'll get a lot of contrast on the go here. Now, as we can see quite clearly here now, there is a lot of like weird pixelating going on on the screen. Now, see that pixelating? That is generally going to be down to how far we've zoomed in, but also it is going to be indicative of the bitrate and the quality of the actual encoding. Once again, not necessarily to do with the bit depth. So once again, many of these camera systems that people are using and there's other factors at play here which will actually get in the way of like the efficiency of the 10-bit codec or at least get in the way of what the 10-bit codec is capable of doing because we've, we're, we're kind of dealing with other deficiencies before we even start grading anything with stuff like this anyway Dave shut up because you're dead boring right so oh wait there oh I've shot right past it what have I just done is a second oh where's he put it there it is no wrong one give us a sec in fact these were earlier versions that are done and as you can see there's no difference with these either right let me just get up to there so that's where we were up to now let me just go full screen with that one okay now there is something interesting going on here which i will make a point of in a second but as we could see there absolutely no difference whatsoever in both sides as far as like what you might expect to see as far as like bit depth is concerned however there is something now interesting going on here and i will just go full screen and play it again in a second what it is the 10 bit version actually records at a higher bit rate as well it's not super high or anything but what we're doing here we are getting the benefit of the higher bit rate for the codec with the 10-bit version once again this has got nothing to do with color banding or so-called dynamic range which is what a lot of people call that thing and it isn't actually that but what we are getting here is a slight benefit from the higher bit rate which means that the actual encoding is a slightly better encoding because it's got a better bit rate to deal with the color information and also like you know the movement and the detail and stuff within the frame so if we just go big once again here you might be able to see this although youtube might already have done a number on it but the right hand side sorry the left hand side is a little bit tiny better with all of that all of that like you know speckly stuff going on and like the way it all looks a bit corrupted although for you that probably all looked the same because youtube is obviously recompressing it all and leveling it all out again with its own bit rate
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is try and wind this video up with a bit of an end summary and explain basically why I've done another video about 8-bit and 10-bit. Right, the thing is, at the moment, we are just about to see a massive onslaught of uh, Action 4, like, you know, videos and stuff. And we are going to be getting told, as we already have done, especially by that knobhead, David Manning, that, like, 10-bit is better, right? For ab with absolutely no justification of why it's better, you know, it's just a load of bollocks the whole thing is bollocks but not just him there will be a ton of other people will be starting to tell you that 10 bit is better right for no reason not giving you any example of why it's better it just friggin isn't right so the reason why i've done this video is because we are about to see a load of that bullshit start popping up again on youtube and also as well when like the next hero comes up which is going to be whatever it is the 12 unless they like jump a number or something that's probably going to come quite soon and that will also have 10 bit as well as 8 bit and we're going to see the same bullshit go on with that as well anyways just to be dead clear here as we could see with those examples when you just record the same thing in 8 bit or 10 bit and do a straight cut exercise with it and then upload there's absolutely no difference whatsoever and that's because youtube itself is 8 bit so anything that's 10 bit just gets truncated down to 8 bit now the thing is even on my monitor here which is 10 bit i don't actually see really any difference either between the 8 and the 10 bit now the main reason for that is is because the sensors on the likes of these small action cameras are just not really that good to be honest and i would say the same as well for kind of mid-range video cameras that's not to say that 10 bit wouldn't work because of the sensors but you've got a whole bunch of things accumulating here things like the quality of the glass the quality of the sensor you know obviously things like your exposure and your iso is going to play a big part in all this as well or like you know electronic iso but the thing is at the end of the day there is absolutely no friggin difference mathematically between 8-bit and 10-bit when the delivery is 8-bit now also you see me push and pull those things a fair bit as well did you actually see any difference when i was going crazy with any of that color stuff and that's where you should see 10-bit massively take over now I'm not saying that you shouldn't shoot 10 bit or anything like that because 10 bit definitely is the preferred format to shoot with as long as your whole signal chain and your whole end output is 10 bit or even shooting 10 bit because that's just what you shoot because everything's 10 bit. Whether you grade with it or not is irrelevant. If that's your workflow, then brilliant. I do it. I shoot 10 bit with a lot of my stuff and edit 10 bit. And for the sake of convenience, my master output to 10 bit, which is what I upload to YouTube. YouTube, but I don't fool myself into saying that, oh, because it's 10-bit, it's better going to YouTube. It absolutely isn't. There would be no difference between me uploading an 8-bit or a 10-bit master. So yes, whilst 10-bit will definitely give you advantages, that's only within certain workflows where you ought to know why you're shooting 10-bit and what the workflow's for, and especially to do with color range and stuff like that. And that's if you even need to do it, especially because of your targets, again, with YouTube. Now, if you were shooting HDR, that's a completely different story, but that's not what I'll go into in this video. If anybody's interested in that bullshit, I'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, I've got literally about a minute left here, and then my camera's going to fuck me off. Oh, I've just swore right at the end. Oh, I did really well there, didn't I? Anyways, for any of my YouTube buddies out there, check out this mic. I'll be doing a video about this soon. So if anybody's been watching me butchering my way through a whole bunch of microphones recently, this is the Miono PM500 a cardioid condenser and it's kind of like circuit board shoved inside this 512 audio limelight, which used to be a dynamic microphone. Anyway, so this is my first attempt at getting what I think is, well, not my first attempt, I've obviously been trying loads to do this, but basically butcher something into an end address, which I wear from something that I liked the sound of, as in the meal. Oh, shut up, Dave. Anybody who's been watching me shit knows exactly what i'm doing with this microphone but i'm just telling you that's what this is so mark iffy if you watch this video and you got this far into the video let me know what you think about this microphone anyways i'm gonna dive off i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <coughs>